Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be creating a look using this palette from Moira Cosmetics. This is from their date book series that they just released a couple of weeks ago. So if you're interested in watching how I created this look, please stick around, get comfortable. And also before you go, please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel. I am currently posting one video per week. So again, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoy the look. Okay, so I have already done my brows. I use the same product as usual, so I'm not even gonna go over that. And I already primed my lids and I use once again the usual. And this is the Fit Me Concealer from Milani and it is in the shade uh, Wheat. And for the eyes today, I will be using this palette from Moira Cosmetics. This is from their new collection, the Date Book series. So this is the You're Blooming Like the Perfect Flower. Um, this will be my first time using this palette. So I guess at the same time, it will be like a first impressions as well. So this is what the palette looks. It is absolutely gorgeous. I am thinking that I am going to do a pink look. Look at just how gorgeous this palette is. I haven't even swatched any of the shadows, so we will see. Um, I think the first shadow that I am going to go with is Wildflower, and I will be going and using that all over my lid. And I am just going to use this brush. I actually got it from Shein. It's nothing special to it. Okay, that picked up a lot of product. Uh, oh my, my. And it is absolutely pigmented. <laughs> okay. Wow. I definitely thought that it wasn't going to be this pigmented, I thought. And I didn't think that the color was going to be this intense. It is more than I expected and I don't think that's the brush that I wanna use. So I'm gonna go with this other brush and this is from Luxie and it is their Taper Blending Brush. This is actually a very old brush. I don't even remember if I got it probably on Ipsy bag years ago. I'm not sure guys. So I just grabbed a little bit more of that same shadow and I'm just going to be blending it all over the lid. And uh, seems like it is blending pretty easily. So with the same blending brush that I was using, I am going to go back and I am going to take a big risk because I am not sure how this is going to come out. But I am going to go with my stars and I'm just going to lightly tap into that because I saw how, how pigmented these colors are. So wish me luck. <laughs> and I think I, I will be doing a halo look only. Oh yeah, I shouldn't do that on the inner corner. Okay, so yeah, I'm glad that I lightly tapped into it because look at how pigmented that is. Holy moly. Wow. I'm just going to go back and grab a little bit more of that and oh my God, put it in my inner corner. Wow. Now I feel like I really need to build up this side and I probably will. So off camera, I'm just going to go ahead and do the other eyes so that we don't spend the entire day watching this video. One thing I did forget to mention that for the inner corner of my eye, I used this brush and it is also from Luxie and it is number 213, the eye shading blush. So for the inner portion of the eye, I am go I'm in between. So I swatched the three shades. Um, and honestly, I really like this one out of the three. This one seems to be the creamiest one and it just went on my wrist so smoothly. But if the color was lighter, I guess that would have worked out better. I also like this one as well. And then out of the three, this one is not really like easy. It doesn't seem as buttery and creamy as the other two. And let me just show you in the palette which, which shadows I am talking about. So this is Blossom. This is, uh, I think, the driest formula. And then this other one, Beauty, that is the one in here. 
and that one just blends so beautifully so smoothly uh buttery and then here is flower which would be the shade in the middle so i am just going to pick one of those three shades i am oh, i really want to go with beauty because of how mm, nicely it blended so i guess what i can do is i can start off with that because of course like i said it was my favorite But I think I want something that's going to be a bit of, you know, like a lighter shade. See? Because it seems like it's too, it needs, hmm. No, I'm not sure actually. Let me see. Let me continue applying a little bit more. It is such a pretty, pretty shade. I absolutely absolutely gorgeous i think you know i'm gonna blend the eyes a little bit more because it's too it, it, it needs more blending that's why pretty much but i do love that shade in the middle mm, such a beauty so quick mention because i did bring the eyeshadow a little bit too high what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab this brush that I use to clean up my brows and I'm just going to lightly grab a small amount of concealer and I am going to blend it out on my arm, my wrist because I'm trying to just get a little bit and then I'm going to lightly clean up again. You see that looks different it's not blended so i am gonna go back and i am going to grab another small brush and i'm gonna go with this shade this is bloom and i'm going to lightly tap into that and just blend this whole area right here i think i'm gonna go back and go with this shade because it is a lot lighter but this one it's this one is pressed glitter so yeah that's what it is just slightly tap i think i like that more i went ahead and grabbed a little bit more of that shade or glitter and i sprayed a little bit of the elf setting spray just to you know like make sure that it sits there nicely there much better <laughs> so 20 hours later i have finally finished uh applying falsies i honestly am not a huge fan of falsies my eyes don't feel you know as comfortable i would say and I guess, you know, some people would say, well, use more natural lashes. And I guess I could try that as well. But these ones do look cute. Like, they're huge as can be. But I guess that I like them, you know. Um, also, I will be linking them in the description box if you are interested. I actually purchased this ones from Shein because you know um since lashes is really not a strength of mine i'm still practicing so i thought of you know purchasing some cheaper um, lashes but after i received them i am definitely glad that i bought them i but anyway so now that the eyes are almost finished i am of course after i finish the rest of my eyes i'm gonna you know do the inner corner the bottom lash but now we are gonna go with foundation and for foundation i will be using the one from milani this is the conceal perfect two in one and this is in the shade natural i believe i used this foundation before in my channel um i will be applying it with my finger please forgive me those of you that don't like that um this is a very thick consistency foundation so typically i um I used to apply way too much of it, but I don't do that anymore because then it ends up looking too cakey and I, you know, I don't think anyone likes that. 
So now I am gonna go with the concealer. For concealer, I will be using the same one, the Fit Me Concealer, once again from Maybelline, and this is in the shade Wheat. Also, I forgot to mention, um, I did find the micro brow pencil that I had, that I purchased a few months ago, but I couldn't find it, so I found it again. But, oh, I finally found it, and I used it, but I got the shade Mocha, thinking that it was going to be dark enough for me, and it isn't. It's not even close. It's very, like, a light brown. So I used it still to kind of, like, define my brows, but I filled it in with the usual. But I just wanted to mention that. This concealer, I'm so glad that my friend recommended it to me because I have been using different concealers, but I didn't like them at all. So she told me about this one um, and I went ahead and bought it. At first I bought in the shade medium, which is way too dark for me, but this one seems to be working absolutely well. Okay, so for bronzer, I will be using the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer and this is in the shade Honey Drip. And to apply, let me see, I have a couple of brushes here, I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna go with this brush and this is from the Lab 2A and this is their Triple Thread Multi-Purpose Brush and I'm just going to dip in there. Hmm. I'm gonna go slowly. I think I should have picked a different shade. I know I featured it on my channel before, um, but this one, as you can see, yes, it does give me color, but a darker shade would have been better for me. Just a tad bit darker. Look at that, so pretty, wow. I believe I can fly, I believe I can touch the sky. Yeah, with this. Okay, anyway, I was talking about the bronzer. So to give the bronzer a little bit more life, I am going to apply a powder bronzer as well, but I think that first I am gonna go and go, um, I am going to use the blush and this is also from e.l.f. and it is the putty blush and this is in the shade Tahiti. Now to apply this one, you know what? I've only used it, I believe once and it feels a little dry, but anyway. And I'm just going to apply it with my finger. With my finger. Oy, 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 weird. No, I'm not. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same for this cheek. Okay, so to intensify the bronzer, I am going to be using this um, complexion hydrating complexion trio from Alamar Cosmetics, and it, I'm also going to be applying it with this brush, and it is the complexion brush from their complexion trio blush collection. That feels like a lot to say. And so yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, much better. Going back into that. Let me take off the excess because I think I grabbed a little bit too much this time. I just realized that I'm not even sure what lipstick I'm going to use. <gasps> So now I am going to be setting my makeup. And you know what? I was going to use that um, the Beauty Bakery setting powder, but since I grabbed this from, from Alamar Cosmetics, I am just going to be using that instead. And before I set my under eye area, I'm just going to quickly with that same uh, mini sponge from Real Techniques, I am just going to once again, because I do have fine lines under me, me, me eyes, <laughs> um, and the concealer was already creasing, so I am just going back and blending out that area again. And this is I'm going with this other brush from Alamar Cosmetics, and this is their 
brightening brush so I will be grabbing the lightest shade and just applying that lightly tapping under my eye area grabbing a little bit more and lightly tapping into my under eye area I wonder if I should be grabbing it too with the little sponge let me see oh yeah that worked see I'm always afraid of messing up my dry products by using, you know, damp sponges. I mean, I know people do it, but I'm always scared of that, so. Okay, so, that, so let me see, what else am I missing? I think I just have to finish the under eye area and do some lipstick and we're almost done. Okay, so to finish the eyes, I went ahead and grabbed that beautiful shade of their flower and I just applied that on my inner corner and then on my lower lash line, I went ahead and apply this shade low key and that's pretty much it. Now I am going to go into the lips and the first thing that I'm going to use is this lip liner and this is from Dominique Cosmetics and this is the Creamy Fill and Define in the shade Crush. It is a beautiful lip liner and it is definitely creamy. Now, I was just thinking of something, you know, like the name of my channel is supposedly Glam and Glow on a Budget with Sarai Torres. Me, me, right? Now, a lot of the products that I've been showing you guys lately aren't necessarily affordable. However, all of the products that I buy, I've never paid full price for any of them. Most of them I get either uh, through BoxyCharm in their subscriptions or in their Boxy pop-up or add-on. I get a lot of stuff there for $3, $5. So if you guys don't have that subscription, I'm actually going to leave my link in the description box if that's something that you are interested in because you know, I think it's awesome that you have the chance to try out products at such an affordable price. Another place that I typically get my products from is TJ Maxx. Um, I get a lot of products from there and recently I went to Ross and I was surprised that I found some really uh, nice makeup there as well. They didn't have like a lot um, in the other place. Okay, so the other place that I tend to get product from is for from Marshalls. I, like I said, I have never ever, I mean, in the past, years ago when I was doing makeup in the past, yes, I did spend, you know, a lot of money uh, on makeup and I was paying full price. Um, yeah, not this time around. I, I may not use, you know, the newest makeup on the market, but I will always, you know, find ways to find good quality makeup at affordable prices. And with that said, the next product that I will be using is this high pigment lip gloss from the brand Joey Cosmetics. Is it an expensive brand? Yes, it is. How much did I pay for this? $3.99. I think they retail for about $20, but I found it for $3.99 at Ross. So if you have a Ross around you, check them out. This is my first time using this lip gloss. This is what the applicator looks like. And let's see. It is scented. Ah, oh, smells so good. I love to smell products and I kind of, oh, this is such a beautiful. Wow. Mm, this lip gloss is very pigmented. Look at that. So, okay. Sorry about that. I get a little hyped. Okay, so to finish this look, because I don't think I'm missing anything else, I am gonna go with what? Guess what? Yes, Milani Cosmetic Make It Last. And uh, yeah, because it is definitely my favorite. Oh, I do have to put uh, mascara under my, okay. 
<laughs> okay. Ooh, ooh, help. I've showed you guys this uh, little fan that I handheld fan that I got from Amazon. I believe that was $12.99. I will try to leave the link on my in the description box if I remember. So of course, I always forget highlight. So for highlight, I am just quickly applying uh, the Essence Cosmetics and this is the Pure, Pure Nude Highlight. And I'm just applying really a little bit. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. As you all know, I was so scared at the beginning with how the eyes were going to come out because I haven't really been playing with, you know, hot pinks. So I, I was like, oh my God, I don't know how it's gonna come out, but I absolutely love the look. I absolutely love the shades that I decided to go for, especially on the middle section because it just put the look together. So I, oh, and quick comment about this palette. You guys saw how pigmented it is. And also it's not super powdery. The first shadow that I picked up, which was this wildflower. Yeah, that was a little bit powdery, but I think it's because of the brush that I use. But other than that, this palette, the pigmentation blending is just amazing. And this brand is also very, very affordable. They tend to have uh, sales here and there, especially for holidays. So, oh, another thing that I do love, it does have a mirror, but also, because um, when I was using it, I always do this, you know, like I fold it. So, but it does have this elastic so that you can close the palette. So that is absolutely amazing. I really like that. So, and also the lip gloss, that was the first time using it from Joey Cosmetics. Love it. The shade is beautiful. It feels so soft on the lips. So I really had fun creating this look. I love, absolutely love the finished look. So let me just do a little bit of a close-up so that you can see the eyes. It's probably my favorite part. They always seem to be the star of the show. Don't ask me why. I don't know why. But anyway, I really hope that you enjoy watching this video. Please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and also watch my other videos if you still haven't and subscribe to my channel. I have been posting one video per week for the past two weeks. I haven't been consistent because I, you know, life, but I will continue posting videos. So thank you guys for your support and I will see you on my next video. Have a great day and I hope to see you soon. Take care.